Exploring Madrid in one day can be an exciting and packed adventure. In this video, we will suggest you an itinerary for a day in the Spanish capital, covering some of its most iconic attractions. The best place to start is the central square of the capital, Puerta del Sol. It is one of the most famous and iconic public squares in Madrid, and it serves as a central gathering place and a hub for transportation, shopping and cultural activities. The square is also known for the large neon sign of Tio Pepe, which has become an iconic part of the square's skyline. If you want to start the day with energy, you cannot miss one of the best breakfast places in the city. Pastelleria La Mallorquina is located in Puerta del Sol, and it's famous for offering typical pastries since 1894 and for being a lively social gathering cafe. As you approach La Mallorquina, you'll be greeted by a captivating window display. Be sure to try their famous Napolitana de Chocolate, the Torrija, or the Rosquillas, a beloved Spanish treat. This main square is only five minutes' walk from the famous Gran Via of Madrid, so we recommend you to take Carmen Street and go through it until you see the famous Schweppes sign in Calau. Gran Via is one of the most famous and vibrant streets in Madrid. It's often referred to as the Broadway of Madrid due to its numerous theatres, cinemas and entertainment venues. Gran Via runs from Plaza de España in the west to Calle de Alcalá in the east and it spans approximately 1.3 kilometres. Gran Via is known for its architectural diversity with buildings reflecting various styles, including neoclassical, art deco and modernist influences. Some of the street's iconic landmarks include the Edificio Telefonica or the famous Metropolis. If you want to have a unique view of the Gran Via, there is a secret place that few people know about. Located on the top floor of El Corte Inglés shopping centre in Calao Square, there is a gastronomic zone that offers some of the best views of the city. This gourmet concept offers a diverse range of dining options and high-quality food products, making it a popular destination for food enthusiasts. While you enjoy fresh produce, artisan cheeses, wines, chocolates and other specialties, you can sit on the rooftop terrace and enjoy the views of the Gran Via, the Royal Palace and the Plaza de España. From this point you can walk to our next stop, the Royal Palace of Madrid. We recommend you to walk along Gran Via to the Plaza de España, located only a short walk south from the palace. Plaza de España is surrounded by several notable skyscrapers, including the Edificio España and the Torre de Madrid, which were once among the tallest buildings in Spain. The Royal Palace of Madrid, known as the Palacio Real in Spanish, is one of the most prominent and historically significant landmarks in Madrid, it is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens, including the Sabatini Gardens, which are open to the public. The Royal Palace has a rich history dating back to the 18th century. The architecture of the Royal Palace is characterised by its neoclassical style, with a grand facade adorned with statues, columns and decorative elements. The Royal Palace boasts over 3,400 rooms, making it one of the largest palaces in Europe. Once inside the Royal Palace, you can choose between buying a ticket for a guided tour or a normal ticket to walk around at your own pace. However, it is also possible to appreciate these beautiful views from outside the palace. Next to the Royal Palace is the Almudena Cathedral, an iconic landmark with free admission. To have the best lunch break and just seven minutes walk from the Almudena Cathedral, our best recommendation is the San Miguel Market. It features numerous food stalls and vendors selling a wide variety of Spanish and international delicacies. Visitors can indulge in tapas, fresh seafood, Iberian ham, cheeses, pastries, chocolates, wines and more. The market is not a traditional grocery market, but a gourmet tapas market with over 30 different vendors. It's a must visit for food enthusiasts looking to sample a wide range of Spanish dishes in a historic and beautiful setting. have a rest after the meal, we recommend you to take the metro and go to one of the largest parks of the city of Madrid. From the San Miguel market, you can walk five minutes to Opera, the nearest metro station. From there, take the Metro Line 2 using the Madrid Public Transport card. 
the Retiro Park has 350 acres and more than 15,000 trees. Known for its lush greenery, beautiful gardens, serene lakes and historic monuments, it is a popular destination for both locals and tourists. One of the most popular attractions of the park is the Retirement Pond, a large artificial pond where you can rent a rowing boat. On the edge of the lake, there is the monument to King Alfonso XII, inaugurated in 1922. One of the most emblematic buildings is the Crystal Palace, a stunning example of 19th century glass and iron architecture, characterized by its transparency and elegance. Its cupola makes the structure over 22 meters high. The Crystal Palace is primarily used as an exhibition space for contemporary art and cultural events. After a complete day visiting the most important areas of Madrid, Take a break and enjoy a nice walk along the Paseo del Prado. It is home to several iconic landmarks like the Prado Museum, one of the world's most renowned art museums, featuring an extensive collection of European masterpieces. The Paseo del Prado goes from the Atocha railway station to Plaza de Cibeles, and it runs for approximately 0.8 miles. Explore its streets and enjoy the sunset of Madrid with its impressive facades and architecture. I hope you have enjoyed this video of some of Madrid's most famous landmarks in one day. Thanks for watching and see you soon in Connolly Cove.